Hey guys, we're at West Palm Beach, Florida for Prevo Expo Week. We've got a lot lined up for you. First of all, guys, I have never seen so many Prevo buses and converted to RVs at one place at one time. There are hundreds of coaches. And this is super exciting. This is our first time we've come to a Prevo Stuff Rally. And we're super excited. We cannot wait to share this experience with you guys. We plan on going on tours. Okay, guys, if you've ever wondered how a converter gets a Prevo from the factory, this is it right here. Basically, just a primer, paint, and a plain bus. So let's go in and take a look. Nothing, you know, fancy in the stair steps going up. This is an H model. You can tell by the way it enters. And then this is what the inside looks like. So a big difference from the shell to a converted bus. This is the main hall and they are still doing setup and you can see just rows of tight fitting Prevos in this building and just some beautiful coaches up and down here and just gorgeous paint jobs and they are still setting up. It just gives you an idea of what we're going to be well, this one is beautiful, and look at that golf cart that goes with it. So, beautiful Prevo with the stacker trailer and the golf cart as a all, well, that one is a Newell. There you go, it's not a Prevo, it's a Newell. Absolutely beautiful. So, this gives you an idea of, let me step back far enough so you can see it. The Newell with the stacker trailer and then the golf cart. That is beautiful. And take a look at that baby. All right, guys, Linda has her favorite. I have my favorite. And this is it. It is a quad slide Liberty. And it just feels so homey. I walk in, I feel like I'm at home, and I don't know, maybe I should be at home, right? Well, yeah, but no, I'm happy with ours, very happy. But the blue really is surprising to me how pretty it is. It's got a beautiful sitting bar, breakfast bar to sit at, to look out across the scenery. And so you sit here, have your breakfast, look out at the beautiful scenery. If you don't see what you like, guess what? You move and you go to somewhere you do like the scenery better. So it's beautiful. Great kitchen. And I like how this separates itself from the den. Uh, little wine cabinet there. Uh, the refrigerator, I am used to that being more to the back of the kitchen. Have not always been a fan of the refrigerator when it's moved forward. But you know what? That's changed for me. Especially they, the way they've done it here it actually separates the kitchen from the den. And so typically you feel like both of those are kind of together. Here, you've got your den all the way up here and it's absolutely gorgeous. And then you step back here and now your kitchen, your galley is back here. And uh, so, yeah, I think this is my favorite of the show that I've seen. Uh, a lot of the Brand new coaches, you know, 23, 24s, uh, they're very contemporary. Our coach is very contemporary. This one's a little bit more that traditional, you know, 
more of a luxurious feel to me. And it also has that feeling of how this bedroom is kind of curved. So, yep, this would be my choice for the show. Liberty, right here at Prevo Week in West Palm Beach. Hey guys, well we wanted to give a shout out to Gail and Mark with the, the Traveling Marlins. Yeah, check them out if you have it. And Gail, we're praying for you. You've got your fan club here. We've got Mark and Debbie Fratto and uh, Zach and Linda McConnell and Live Tomorrow Now and we love you guys. We wish you were with us here at Prevo Stuff and hopefully you'll be back next year but we're sending love and prayers to you in the meantime. Blessings on a quick recovery. Yes, see you soon. Yes, Bye, absolutely. Gail. That's quite an achievement when you think about it. And we are the, we are the beneficiaries of a hundred years of their work. So we would like to do a toast to Prevo for the hundred years. And I'd like to introduce Francois Tremblay, who is the president of Prevo Money. What makes it even more interesting is the fact that it's the family, the Prevo family that took the project together as a family project to celebrate company's 100 anniversary. So, so who would have thought 100 years ago that a carpenter out of a small town of Quebec, outside of Quebec, would actually build up the, actually the largest motor coach manufacturing company in North America. And the largest, you know, premium motor home household manufacturing company. So it's so great to, to see all the, where we came from, right? But you know, all those years we didn't do it at all. We did it with great partners. And I, got, I really want to thank all of our Converse partners. You know, the, we have Liberty, Millennium, uh, Emerald, uh, Featherlight, uh, 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 Marathon, of course, I'm saying Marathon, all of them. It's a good thing Steve is here, uh, and we have one newcomer also in the family, Loki Coach. This so is actually uh, out of Quebec, and they have their coach in front, so, so it's good to see that the family is, is expanding. And I'm looking forward to the next 100 years, so thank you, and cheers! Cheers! Feather light. This gives you an idea what it looks like inside. Very neutral chairs, beautiful floors. It's an H. Oh, really spacious. Yeah, it's a pretty coach. All beiges and creams. You know, gives a very light look. Now, guys, notice the width in here. This is a double slide up front. You don't see as many of those in Prevos. Yeah, wow. And great lighting. I really like the ceiling. That is super nice. And there is the cockpit with all of the controls. Checking it out. 
and fixtures. There's the galley, Viking. And that is a big, oh wow, it's got the desk. So you've got the work center there. I know a lot of y'all would like that. And here is the bathroom. That's nice. And has the mid bath and then, wow. That wall behind there is really interesting. Cedar line closet and TV and washer and dryer. That's nice. And you got your electronics in here. Easy access with drawers. And, oh, that's a nice closet. That's a really big bed and that ceiling feature continues on. And here is the master uh, bathroom. So that is a really large shower too. If you can get the feel for that, that's quite large with the chair and this bowl sink is quite pretty. So ah, it's a beauty. And there's all your controls right next to your bed. Give you an idea on this side, what you can manage, and then that side too. There's that cup holder that Zach needs. He needs a bigger cup holder. So this is a coach on consignment. It is with uh, Donnie Myers here at Luxury Coach. And uh, they also do a lot of repairs. It's an H3 Featherlight, but look at that. That is beautiful. And great cockpit. Let's check that out. Wow, this one's really pretty. Has the updated flooring and the sofa and the bar area is kind of raised and that's really nice. Very elegant, elegant chairs. And you can look out that window or set up your laptop. And then here's the kitchen and refrigerator. Probably the bathroom, yep. Very nice. Neutral colors. Gives you an idea of what it looks like. And then here is the bedroom. Very large in here. Along with the closets. Oh, I like that. Shoe cubby. And has the TV over and this is more the electronics cabinet that's nice when it's all organized like that and then oh that bowl sink is very lovely and the commode and then a very large shower that is nice and then back here you have extra storage with a hanging rod that is a beautiful coach very spacious bedroom. Put this in here. Oh, I like that. And refrigerator. You get the freezer. And what's in here? That's nice. Beautiful coach. Okay, guys, here is a Prevo, and this is an X 2023. And so the X's are kind of gaining a lot of momentum back. 10,500 miles, 2023, 2.295 million. Okay, so it's a Euro coach. It's obviously been owned for a little bit of time. So uh, chances are it was more in the 2728 range. So let's go take a look. It's gotten some depreciation. And it's with Goss RV. Hey, yes, Goss awesome. RV. Thank you. How's it going? Good. We're going to go check it out. Good. Check it out.
Okay, that's a beautiful marathon interior. I love this, has these entry to keep the dirt and everything down, all of your controls and cockpit controls. Uh, gives you an idea uh, the TV, how large the TV is coming in. Okay, so this is another coach after my own heart. I love these gray coaches. That's what we have, it's kind of gray. Now this one, they incorporate a lot more cream, which is really nice because it can get a little dark in the grays. I wish we had a little bit more cream in ours, but this is beautiful. Such clean, modern lines. You know, it's, it's uh, got a nice recliner here nice solid surface i do like this more contemporary style you faucet. do you like contemporary style things i do but you know if i did that i would want it to be shiny chrome i don't know probably you guys like the <laughs> brush you. better or or you know the gold still popular so you this know this is a beautiful coach yeah oh and wonder look at this stool they have here oh how that's a great idea Isn't that cute pops up out of the way and the cabinets underneath the bench is yep. a great idea. There's a TV there, along with the TV there, and then the fireplace. Yeah, You get you the know, fireplace in the corner. Sometimes I'm not a crazy fan of the two-tone, but in this case, I really like this. It kind of breaks up the monotony of the solid, and uh, it's just in the right color. There, and really neat cushion on the uh, bunkette, too. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Really, with this uh, top ceiling treatment with the lights, it is a very bright coach. Okay, so right here, the handle is the giveaway. There's something behind the door. I think what? I know what it is. What Do is you it? know what it is? I'm gonna say pantry. Yep. Ooh, pantry, yep. I was wondering if the whole thing was gonna slide out, but every drawer is slide out. So, Individual. okay, here's, this is something that's cool. I'm an old furniture man. My family's in the furniture business for 50 years. Oh, and, uh, I already right know what you're here, gonna say. Dovetail construction. I okay. love that. The way it's wrapped in the veneer here. On the, on the cabinet wait, wait, shelves. Wait, wait, I gotta take a picture of this though. Okay. And that is, down in here, you see the Marathon label. Is it's that what I'm looking burnt at? burnt in Marathon stamp, yep. That's really nice, attention to detail there, I, I like, like that. that. I like it. I like that. Beautiful Recess coat. lighting up here. Now, you guys tell me, I want Linda to show you the ceiling here in just a second. I see this is becoming more and more popular. Okay. And we're going With to the, the ceiling. With a solid ceiling like this, rather than a more uh, designer look. It, but this has kind of a woven fabric. I don't know yeah. if they're picking that up on the on the camera. Oh, it's it's turning different colors. You guys, you know, t tell me, put down in the comments, do you like the ceiling like this with the big glowing panel and a little bit of edge lighting, or do you like something that has a little more design to it? A little bit more I'd elaborate. like to know, yeah. you know? Seems like the current trend is kind of like these big, huge panels. It, it is, and it's probably me just not staying up with what's most current. Sub-Zero, hey, we've got a Sub-Zero at home and we, we like our Sub-Zero at home. So that's a quality product. Oh, the bunks, look at that. All the bunks are cool. Yeah, and then it has this pull down, or you can also, look at that. It has the, if you don't want to use the box, you can hang your clothes in there. Yeah. That's a great feature. Nice, nice bathroom. Yeah. I like this. Not nice toilet. Should, hey, should I make, have Linda sit down on that so we can see how much room there is? You know? No, thank you. No, thank you? Okay. No, thank you, All honey. Right. And then there is the shower. Yeah. I like the, I like the tile. I really do. That looks nice. A good, pretty floor. Yeah. I'm always the brave one to come in here. And look up at the shower. That's one of those rain heads up there. That is a lot of water that's going to come down. Yep. For me, I'm going to get my hair all wet. I have to think about that. Because, you know, if I, maybe if I scooch myself in this corner, I don't know, I'm going to really have to think about that. Guys, well, I think it would be like, they would love it. Yep. So, I mean, tell us in the comments if you really like that. So this is the super slide in the bedroom. That's evidenced by the closet. If it's a regular slide, you'll just have a little bedside table. And if it is the super slide, you're gonna see that that slide moves back, giving you more space where you're standing at there, Linda. And that's, that's really nice. Yeah. Also, this oh. is one of the beds that yeah, angles up. Yeah. 
And so even though it's a super slide, there's only one slide in the bedroom here. Look at where I'm standing. Look right. at all the space that I have here from side to side. Exactly. That's going on. That's really nice. And look at this sink and the magnification. Oh, oh, did you get that? I came close and that turned on. Bam. Okay, we like that feature. I knew Linda was going to comment about that mirror. She's been trying oh. to figure out how we can do that. Right. And how for do her. they have that? Okay, they have it done let me show you the side so if, if you're thinking about the same thing for yourself see this is how it's done yeah it's side mounted it's just attached there on the wall yeah and you, plugged in right there yep so that kind of gives you an option if you're into that a huge tv right here too and is this a walk-in closet look at this closet i think i can go camp in here wow i mean that could be a children's bedroom. so guys you know i'm not a little guy but when Linda puts me in timeout, I'm afraid she'd put me in here. Yeah. This might be a really good place for you. And, you know, you might learn how to do laundry. <laughs> is that, oh, is that it? Yeah. Yeah, that would be double you double know, punishment. I don't have skills as laundry. And, man, but he's I, a cook. I just don't know that I could pick those laundry skills up. I'm no. sorry. I'm probably but a lost cause. I do cause. appreciate the cooking skills. Oh, look yeah, at this. I'm the cook. Yeah. Okay. Yep very nice and i'm sure that behind those panels yeah i don't want those don't. are velcro i don't want to pull those out yeah so we don't want to do that we're going to pass but that's going to be electronics and yeah, such all linda, away. give them a shot all the way up toward the front you can guys you can see this is another beautiful coach wow and then the same ceiling feature in here as in the den and then here's like your side controls for the bedroom uh, they have lights over there. I like that artwork too. So Linda, show them the floor. What do you guys think about this color? It's kind of a dove gray. It's still pretty dark. Our floor is black and it shows everything. And you know Winston the RV dog? Yeah. Well, Winston the RV dog, he has got a lot of white hair and it shows on everything on those dark yes. black floors. Yes, it does. So what we're finding is we vacuum daily. I don't know how often y'all vacuum, but that seems to be how we handle it. That's how we manage it. More so, like twice a day? Yeah. So Zach, what do you think of this? Are we gonna, are you gonna upgrade or not? I don't know. Nope, no upgrade. No upgrade? No, the pocketbooks are closed. Okay, I understand. Well, it was a lovely tour. Thanks for coming along. Okay, this one is, a beautiful coach. So who who makes who's the converter on this? Do you know? Yeah, it's a or is there a sign on it that Royale. tells us? It's a royal. It's a royal. Okay, royal. Cool. Okay. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. The seats are beautiful. And a great cockpit. Oh, wow. Okay. Look at how huge that dining room table is. Oh, here's the, the sheet on it. We gotta get over to the thing. Okay. Beautiful. Oh, that's really nice with that pass through. Love that. Oh, commercial dryer. That is nice. It's a pretty one. So I can see a few on up. A lot of return faces here. Basement air conditioners. So you name it, we've pretty much gone through this thing. Wow. Okay, 2007 double slide, low mileage, 425,000. And that is beautiful. Yep, great colors. Thanks. I'm happy with how it turned out. It's a pretty coach. Uh huh. She says, I have a YouTube guy, so I know we've seen it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I've seen it. Yeah. Thank you.
Well, we always have uh, folks who want to see the older coaches because they don't have three million. Yeah, um, so they're very, like very few of us do. Yeah. So by the way, what do these older coaches? Oh wow, great ceiling. Yeah, it's a it's a pretty coach. It is a pretty coach. I'm kind of obsessed with it right now. So uh, have you been working on it for a while to get all this done? Yeah, we got it back in August. Okay. So cool. um, it got all new flooring front to back. It's all woodwork ceramic tile. Um, all the co the booth, the dinette, the sofa, passenger seat, driver seat, dash door, everything got reupholstered. I was like, it smells new. Yeah. Like it, you it can still smell has a new that. Smell. It does, and that's something people can't pick up without seeing it. I love the china. I mean the the cabinet right yeah. there. Oh, well, that sink. That sink is so adorable. It's kind of a cool sink. It's very cool. Got new electronics, new slide seal, new tires, new batteries. Slide seal is, is very, very important. Ooh, very, very pretty. Um, airbags were in the chain, so they didn't need to be replaced. But we did have them. Replaced. And there is the commode. This has so, really been redone very nicely. And there's your washer dryer. Wow, this one is beautiful. And here is, look at this closet. Wow, don't you love it? Huge rods up in here. So this gives you an idea of looking through the coach and the mirrored ceilings and really has the updated colors. They went all out. Oh, look at those lights, how fun is that? I love it. Great coach. TV right here. Lots of cabinets. And I don't know if you can see all the detail, but it's very pretty. Very updated looking. Kind of has more of a yacht-like feel to it as well, as far as the finish out. And here is the refrigerator. On this side? You've got power underneath. There's an outlet right up top. And dishwasher. Okay. Very cool. There's two of them here. I think there's just one. No. Yes. Yeah. That's the cardinal. Right. Yep. This is Les Palm Prado Show. That was fun. We met some awesome people, made awesome memories, and can't wait to do it again. So now we are headed to the Florida Keys and make sure and like, subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell that you don't miss a single one of our videos coming out and see our shorts. And uh, thanks for coming along our journey, guys. We so appreciate you. And a shout out to all of the folks that we met here at the Prevo uh, Rally at the Expo Center in West Palm. Uh, we have the most awesome fans and y'all know who you are. And we love you all. And thanks for coming up and meeting us. We just absolutely loved it.